Oh, you don't have no tested strips. That's okay. I'll be all right. Because I'm not getting back up. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Vinia McKell. Thank you so much for being here today. Today launches a new series that will be uh, scattered periodically throughout the year. And it's called It's a Dupe or No. <laughs> so this is going to be products that um, I think it's going to be specifically perfumes and then products that are supposed dupes of those perfumes. And if I think they are, if I think they're accurate, would I recommend them? All that type of stuff. So uh, just periodically throughout the year, I have quite a few products and there are some things that are supposed to be dupes for them or, you know, whatever the case may be. So just periodically throughout the year, I will just, you know, get into it and talk about do I think they are dupes or I think they're accurate what I recommend all those things so before I get into that you know I always thank my amazing beautiful incredible subscribers you guys are a 10 out of 10 highly recommend I love y'all we going up for 2024 um I, I don't know what's in store for 2024 but I'm just grateful for to have you guys along for the journey and yeah so without further ado the first one I feel like I could not start this series without starting with this perfume. Okay, so we're going to start with the infamous Kayalian Pistachio. Okay, now some probably going to be, some pro what? <laughs> some people probably going to be like, oh my gosh, I'm sick of it. I'm sick of the dupes. I'm sick of the dupes. Like, <laughs> I don't want to hear no more about it. And that's fine. That means you probably already have what you're looking for. But some people probably are like I still would like to know you know whatever the case may be so based on the products that I have I'm gonna let y'all know if it's a dupe or not <laughs> so the original I don't need to really spray it I know this is my baby this is my love so I already know what it's given okay but just so we can try to be as accurate as possible so that's the original it's the OG we got that so let's do perfume first we obviously have affection is it called love or affection whatever it's called by latafa okay and this is my first time smelling them side by side so let's try to get into okay good sprays mm, yeah i'm sorry hold on this is affection this is the original There's, I think there's more citrus or something in this, but I mean, it is 90, 97% spot on. I mean, you have to be so particular and such a like perfume elitist to really be able to say like to pick out differences and to really you're really splitting hairs and getting to the minutia of it all to really split hairs between the two of these like it is clearly a replica of the original and I'm, if I do say so myself they did a really good job yeah I'm, I'm gonna say over 90% and to me anything over 90% is doing fantastic And I, I'm, I'm going to say, I hate to say it, if you have affection or love, whatever this is called from Latafa, I'm going to say that you basically have the original Kayali. I'm trying to think performance on this one. I did wear this one once, the Latafa. I can't remember. I'm trying to remember the day that I wore it, what was the performance like. I don't remember anything exceptional. But I don't remember anything super poor either. So, I mean, this is obviously affection from the top. is always obviously going to be infinitely cheaper than the original Kayali. So, I'm just going to say, if you like Kayali but you don't want to pay the full price, I am going to say affection from the top is over 90%, over 95% spot on dupe. For the original K. Ali. I mean, I'm talking a hair, maybe more citrus, 
something a tad bit sweeter, but I mean, you absolutely get the uh, essence, the DNA of Kealion Pistachio in that perfume. Now, we have two perfume oils. Uh, Young Pistachio from The Scent For You and from Fragrant Body Oils. Now, y'all know my preference is going to be Fragrant Body Oils off the top. Y'all also know y'all can click the link in my description box and shop my favorites, my closet from Fragrant Body Oils and get you 10% off. Y'all already know that. And hopefully by this time the video goes up, I will do my official launch video. And hopefully they don't cancel me by now. Because I was being supposed to post it. But <laughs> either way it go. Um, Y'all know my preference is going to be this. This has amazing performance. This, to me, smells 99.999% spot on to the original. The extra little bit of something that the affection from the top it didn't have to me the perfume oil does have to me this is spot on this is one of the ones that i can say if you've never smelled the original you can smell the perfume oil version of it and if you like the perfume oil then you'll like the perfume like it's that spot on to where like you can use the perfume oil as a gauge or a determining factor and if you want the original that's how spot on it is no complaints, 10 out of 10, top tier. Um, this is from The Scent For You. Now, this has been sitting for a couple of months. I, I'm able to give a more accurate assessment. Um, the Scent For You perfume oil is about 80%. Okay? Now, granted, the price difference even just in the perfume oils is... Maybe about a $10 difference. So, and you can tell the difference is a $10 difference worth. And the smell, but also more importantly, this perfume oil specifically. I'm not bashing the scent for you. Y'all know if y'all see my Bee Smell Perfume Oil videos. I have several perfume oils from the scent for you that are in that video. So, it's not all oils from the scent for you. This specific one does not last long at all. And it's very, very soft, right? If you're looking for a super, super cheap, inexpensive way to see if you might like the original, then I would say try it, right? $2.50. Um, you can at least, especially if you don't have a Sephora or something near you in your area where you can smell it or try it, then I would say this is going to be the most expen inexpensive version that you can try to see if you might like the original. Is it 100% spot on? No. Does it have great performance? No. However, it is close enough for you to get a similar DNA to what you're looking for. Or if you're like, you like the original Kiali, but you're looking for an inexpensive perfume oil to go with it, my first recommendation would still be Young Pistachio Gelato. But if you want something a little more inexpensive, Fragrant Body Oils version. But if you're looking for something a little more inexpensive, then sure, this scent for you would be the most inexpensive version. But in this case, you do pay for what you get, right? That's not always the case. There are some times where the inexpensive version is the best version out of everything. Beating out $100, $200 perfumes. I'm not saying that this is always the case. I'm saying for this specifically, you do pay for what you get, especially as it pertains to the perfume oils. This is just way closer, way more spot on. This is similar enough where you get the essence where it's close enough. It's, it's good enough, right? But if you want something a little more spot on, still less than $20, good performance. Fragrant Body Oils version is going to be the way to go. This not bad at all, though. No bashing, no nothing. This not bad at all. And if this, was, if this is what's in your budget, then get this. But if you can spring for it, I would say get the Fragrant Body Oils version over... The scent for you. Last but not least, this is from Mimic. This is the hair and body oil. This is Mimic 57. And so, you know, found this at Marshall's. This was $6.99. I love how big the nozzle of the dropper is on this too. This one I can only really talk about smell because I haven't given a full wear out. Okay, for 
an inexpensive body oil, right? $10 or less. This is okay. This is... I would never say you can use this to replace the perfume. I can't even say you can use this to replace the perfume oil. I can say if you're looking for a body oil that's similar and in the same vein as the as the Young Pistachio Giotto perfume and you're looking for body care to go with it, then yes, recommend it's $7, can't beat it, you can't go wrong. If you're like, I just want more things that are kind of in that DNA, that are similar, that I can layer with the original perfume, I can recommend. <sighs> I'm not even going to say use this. It's, it's a little light. It's probably the lightest out of everything that I've talked about so far. I mean, it's it's just for layering. It's, that's the only purpose is just for layering. Is Am I saying you need to run to your local marshals to go find this? And Like, no. To me, y'all know I put my perfume oils on my whole body. I take this, rub this in, rub it on my body. I mix it in with my lotions. I mix it in with my body oils. So a separate body oil for a product is not necessarily a necessity for me and how I do my body care. So I'm not going to say it's a nece necessity for you either. If you're just a person that likes to have more things to layer with and you don't want to use your perfume oil on your whole body, it's no complaints. It's seven dollars. Like <laughs> it's seven dollars. You can't be mad at it at all. But it's not a necessity. Is it a dupe? It's similar to Young Pistachio Gelato. It is a seven dollar body oil version of the original perfume. Like I'm. That's the best way I can describe it. Like dupe. It's clearly in the DNA in the vein, but and it smells better in the bottle than it does on the skin. The bottle from it smells like closer, but on the skin it's like okay, you know it's it's in the vein. If you happen upon it, sure. Do you need to run out and go get this? No. Do I like it? Am I happy having? It? Yeah. For seven dollars for a body oil that also goes with the perfume and the perfume oils, absolutely. You know I like to layer. Put that on top of one another. That's it's another way for my scent to last longer. You know, ain't nothing wrong with it. But it's not a necessity. If if it were me, let me think objectively. If someone never smelled the perfume, or they're like, I want to know if I might like the perfume, but I don't, I want, I don't want to spend the full price yet, let me smell something else. Um, or they're like, I like the perfume, but I don't want to pay, or I can afford, you know, whatever the reason is. Which one would I recommend? Honestly, I'm going to say if you get a combination of affection or love from the Taffa and the perfume oil from Fragrant Body Oils, you'll be set. You will be set. I feel like both of those are enough to give you Kayali and Pistachio Gelato. Um, I like the original and I will probably always repurchase the original. However, if there was ever a reason where I couldn't, um, I would just get, I would, honestly, I would get the perfume oil first from Fragrant Body Oils and then get affection from, from Latafa. That's honestly what I would do. Um, for performance, for budget, all this type of stuff, that's what I would do. But I feel like all of these are clearly some form or some dupe of the original or in the DNA. I think just some are better than, than others. And I honestly feel like with this particular perfume, you do pay for what you get. You do pay for what you get. Um, I feel like there was something else I was going to say. When Affection from Latafa is done, will I repurchase? Probably not because I have the original. And I don't need to repurchase it. When the perfume oil from Fragrant Body Oils is done, will I repurchase? Yes. And that is probably what I would continuously repurchase. It's just the original and the perfume oil. Because I'm a person that if I can and the original is feasible, I would like to have the original. If the original is performs decent enough, I would like to have the original perfume. If it's feasible and if the performance is good enough. So for me, um, I would always repurchase the full size. Now the thing is, like the 
especially when traveling, you can always bring your 100 milliliter bottles on planes and stuff, but I don't like to bring my expensive bottles of perfume. So if I was traveling and I wanted to bring Young Pistachio, I wouldn't bring the original. I would bring Latafa because it's 3.4 ounces, which is still in, uh, you know, airport regulations. And I can still get that scent DNA, but I don't have to risk, you know, bringing my expensive perfume. I can bring that one with the perfume oil. And I'll be set. That was the other thing I was going to say. There is another dupe out there called Kahir or something from, I think it's from Aroma Concepts. I thought about getting my hands on it to do a comparison, but I just really don't feel like I need it. I have heard some people say that they do prefer the Aroma Concepts version a little more than the original. And that's fine. They, um, But everybody, everything that I've seen is just like either one is good. But they just think the Kahir one is a little bit better. At this point with the amount of dupes I've shown you all for just this one perfume. It's not something that I feel the need to purchase. Like, I don't need two perfume dupes, two perfume oil dupes, and a body oil dupe of one perfume. That, like, that's just a little bit excessive. Um, yeah, just, I don't think I need it. I really don't. Now, if someone, if someone in the comments is like, no, I have the all three, and I'm telling you, here, I think that's how you say it. If you're saying that one from Aroma Concepts is the best one and it's a must-have, then I'll try it. But I think I'm good enough with what I have. So I wanted to make sure I clarified that this perfume is by Paris Corner and you can get it from Aroma Concepts, but it's by Paris Corner. But I also wanted to say that I think that I would just wait till I finished up Affection from Latafa and then purchase this inexpensive dupe to replace Affection from Latafa versus having two perfume dupes of the same perfume, if that makes sense. So head over to the after party, let me know what you think. Do you have Young Pistachio? Do you have any dupes? Do you have the original and the dupe? Um, yeah, just talk to me. I know what you let me know what you think. Um, especially if you have the dupes in comparison to the original. Do you think it's worth it? Do you think it's spot on? Do you not? Like, you know, just talk to me. Let me know what you're thinking. I love you all so much. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.